hello welcome all so in this session we are going to learn how to draw pythagoras tree so stay tuned first draw a square draw a square of any measurement here i have taken 8 cm i have done a square of 8 by 8 8 is going to total length 8 cm its breadth so draw draw a square of your choice any length now once you have drawn a square next step draw an isosceles triangle on it like this so to draw an isosceles triangle the first thing is what measure we sh we should take for these these two sides for that let us do a bit of calculation so now we know that we have done this we have drawn this square 8 by 8 it means take this side this side as its hypotenuse so 8 will be its hypotenuse now as we know that as per pythagoras theorem base square so take these two sides base square the side square is equal to hypotenuse square now here we have taken both the side x so we have 2x square is equal to 8 square So two x square is equal to eight square sixty four. So x square is equal to thirty two. Now we have x square is equal to thirty two. We need to find x. What is this side? So to find the x, let us learn two formulas. First, under root a plus b upon two a, and second, under root a minus b upon 2 root a so to find the square root of 32 we need these two formulas now 32 if we see it falls 5 square 25 6 square 36 so 32 falls between these two okay so what to do write 32 like 25 plus 7 Okay, so here a is equal to twenty five and b is equal to seven. Now, which formula we are going to use? We are going to use under root a plus b upon two root a. So here a five twenty five, b seven upon two root twenty five. So here five. Plus seven upon two multiply root five. So we have five plus seven upon ten. It means five plus zero point seven. It means five point seven. So this side is five point seven and this side is five point seven. If this side is eight. Now let us draw. An isosceles triangle. So this we have drawn. Now we have this side as five point seven. So draw one square using this measurement. So this side five point seven. This side five point seven. Five point seven. Similar, follow it over here. Take five point seven and draw a square. Now we have square like this. Now again, what to do? Again, repeat the process. Procedure. We have to draw an isosceles triangle over here. Now, what measurement should we take for this? Now we know that this our hypotenuse is five point seven. So we need to find this leg. This leg. It means x square plus x square is equal to five point seven square. So two x square is equal to Five point seven square is thirty two point forty nine. How we found it? Sorry, wait a minute. Two x square is equal to thirty two point forty nine. How we found? We found five point seven multiply five point seven. So we have this number. So x square is equal to divide both the side by two. Twenty eight. Okay, we need decimal till two units. Now x is equal to 
take root of this sixty two point two eight. Now see sixty two four, then twenty eight point. Repeat the same procedure that we have done by a plus b by using under root a plus b upon two root a using this formula, and almost this is after calculation it becomes. Zero point three or zero point two, approximately something. So what we have to do? We have to make a triangle of four point zero three, four point zero three. So again, this way sides will come like four point zero three. Again, draw one triangle, one square using four point zero three, four point zero three. Same over here. Now what happened? We have like this diagram. Again, repeat the same procedure. Draw a triangle. Now we have hypotenuse is four point zero three. So make a square. Height square plus base square is equal to this. Repeat the same procedure. So after that we have such type of Pythagoras tree. So, now two. Do such more activities. Stay tuned.